Hi everyone, this is Hussein from EJ Academy. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can insert a table into a header and uh, basically use a table as a header. Um, so the default header in Apple Pages uh, is very limited. It has only uh, one row and three columns, as you can see here. And sometimes you have more information, you wanted to arrange it in a table with like two, three multiple rows and um, you know more than three columns. So uh, that's why uh, sometimes you wanted to use a table and use that table as a header. So in this video, I wanted to show you how you can do that. Um, so I have a brand new um, document here in Apple Pages. Um, so since I wanted to use a, a table as a header, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert a table. So under insert table, um, uh, a plain table would be enough. Uh, so I'm going to delete the last three rows here. Also, I'm going to delete column D. And also I wanted to um, go on the table and uncheck alternating row color. Okay, now I wanted to um, add some text uh, on the column B, I wanted to add a title. Um, so I'm going to go to text, move that title to center. I'm going to select the text and then I choose condensed black and then increase the size to let's say 20. Under title, I'm going to have a subtitle. Move it to the center and then select the text. Under text, I'm going to choose, um, let's say bold and then increase the size to uh, 14. Uh, on the column C, first row, I'm going to have a name and then move that to the right. And then while I have the cell selected, I'm going to choose this. Um, so that way the text moves to the bottom of the cell. I'm going to go to the second row. And for example, here, I'm going to provide an email address. So move that to the right. Then on the column A, second row, I'm going to have um, let's say company name, company name. And then, um, so upper left corner, I'm going to insert a logo, uh, let's say a company logo. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to go to shape and use one of these uh, default shapes here. Let's go to science. And let's say, I want to use this one called Adam. Uh, so I'm going to reduce the size and then cut this. I'm going to double click on this cell and paste this here. Okay, sounds good. Uh, now I wanted to uh, move this to the header section, move it a little bit higher uh, because this is a header. Um, so the way it is right now, um, it doesn't allow me to move it up to the header section because it is part of the part of the text. So I have to select this table and go under arrange to change it. So under text wrap, I'm going to right now it's in line with text. I'm going to choose none. So this way I can grab this table and move it wherever I want it. So I wanted to move it a little bit higher over the header section. Um, let's see here. Okay, I think it's a little bit high, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Um, so probably here. Yeah, I think this is good. Um, so right now the uh, the table is ready and it's in the uh, the desired position. I wanted to um, basically make that as uh, make that as a part of the header. So. Um, so I'm going to select the table, go under arrange, under section layout and choose move object to section layout. Uh, now I wanted to uh, also mention if you don't select a table, let's say um, just if I click on the page, that way the table is unselected. If I go under arrange and section layout, move object to section layout is not 
um, is not available. So I have to select the table first, then go to arrange under section layout, choose move object to section layout. This way, this table is going to be part of the page layout, not the, not the page text. Um, so to test that, I'm going to insert a few blank lines uh, so I can go to the second page. Okay, good. Um, so as you can see here, uh, this table is now part of the header. Uh, it's on the first page, second page, and all the pages coming after. Uh, now I wanted to make a minor uh, minor change into the table. I wanted to remove this uh, vertical and horizontal grid line and, also, and only keep the, the border. So to do so, I need to modify the table. Uh, um, so the way it is right now, it doesn't allow me to make any changes. Um, so I have to go back to, to arrange under section layout, uh, select make layout objects selectable. So that way I, that way I can um, edit this, this header. So I click on the table. On their table, I'm going to, um, on the grid lines, I'm going to on select horizontal and vertical grid lines. Okay, now it's good. I'm going to go back to arrange under section layout, <clears throat> uncheck make layout object selectable. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now uh, I think this is this is right now is is good. This is what I wanted. Um, so that's it for this video. I um, hope you um, learned something from this video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if this video was helpful. As always, you can leave your questions in the comment section below this video. And don't forget to um, subscribe to our channel um, to get a notification um, uh, regarding future videos. Until uh, next video, bye everyone.